Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Hawkins, a board-certified orthopedic surgeon with Caremount Medical. One of the procedures I specialize in is hip replacement, which is a reliable treatment option for arthritis, among other conditions which cause pain and loss of motion of the hip. The surgery is generally performed in one of two ways, and the difference is based upon how the hip is accessed. In a traditional or posterior approach, the incision is made on the side or in the back of the hip and through the gluteus maximus muscle. Additional small muscles need to be released to expose the hip joint, which are then later reattached. The anterior approach has been done for decades, but has become more popular lately. In this procedure, an incision is made in the front of the hip. The muscles are then spread, not divided, to access the hip joint. In addition, to gain exposure to the hip joint, only one or two of the tendons that attach to the hip are usually released. It is believed that because less muscle is injured during surgery, patients may recover more quickly in the first six weeks after surgery. For you as the patient, this means less initial post-operative pain and quicker achievement of goals with physical therapy. Also, because we do not disrupt the important stabilizing muscles and ligaments in the back of the hip, fewer post-operative restrictions are required. And in the long term, this means a lower risk for dislocation or the hip coming out of place, which is a known complication of hip replacement. If you think you may be a candidate for hip replacement or to learn more about other treatments, including knee and shoulder replacement, please visit caremountmedical.com.